Okay, I thought I'd do a little video for you about handle size. If you've watched these videos where I carve with the Rough Rider, Drop Point Hunter, the Boca Plus Farrakis, and the Charade Frontier, it's three videos, excuse me, of me carving with these knives. Um, and I've stated this handle was well too small. These handles were okay, but I just thought I wanted to explain to you, or show you, demonstrate to you, um, how important the size of the handle is when you're wood carving, because it's your power strokes, when you're for bulking out, when you're taking the bulk of the wood out, you're doing large powerful strokes, when you're taking out large amounts of wood, um, when you're getting your arms into it, you're locking your hand up right so that you can't, the knife can't fly into you. Um, but handle size is important for that power and these handles aren't really big enough. Um, they're okay. The Hunter is definitely not good at all. That's, uh, when I watched the playback video, I could see that I didn't have the correct purchase on, a, purchase on the handle. It was tilting out of my hand when I was, when I was pulling the strokes. I could see the knife was going with the word. It was just, you know, painful to look at, to be honest with you. So I thought I'd um, demonstrate to you what sort of handle size you should be looking at um, if you're buying a knife or if you're designing your own. So, first of all, I'll zoom out a little bit. Look at me when I close my hand on this knife. I still haven't got really tight. All my fingers are touching my thumb palm. I mean, my little finger's not too far off, but you can see it's closed right around there. I just haven't got the grip. My hand is really closed, and I'm squeezing tight. That's going to give me cramp, and I still won't have a good hold over the knife. With the fracas, look, you see? So that's just about touching. That finger's touching. That finger's just off. The frontier. I'd say exactly the same, pretty much as the fracas, maybe even a little bit more closed. But now look at this. Now this is a copy of a handle from a, a, wood, a bushcraft woodcarver design called John Mack. He makes a knife called um, a Macress. This is sort of a copy of a Macress. And it's called Mack because it's John Mack and Chris because it's Chris Grant. He's the knife maker. But this is a copy of the handle. There, can you see? None of my fingers are touching my palm. And I copied this knife several times. Well, not this knife, this handle several times. Um, made all varying different sizes. This is the biggest size, and to be honest with you, the best. So I've tried this out on number 11. Because you see this one? This is the first one I ever made, which I thought... That was perfect. When I made it, I fit it to my hand. I thought that was perfect. And it did give me a lot of power, a lot more noticeably. It's a better sort of shape. See, as I go down the handle, it opens up a little bit. My fingers moved away now. So I'm just off the bottom. So I'll do that with the other one so you get an exact reading. But you know, that's how I'd hold the knife. So it's just off. None of my fingers are touching my palm. Then I made, actually, I made this handle with that knife. Again, same sort of thing. You can see. Things aren't touching, and then the better handle of the lot, this bigger again, is this one here. Now you can see how much space there is. I've really, I've used this knife, and this is the better of the lot because it's like the bigger handle. I can get more power with this than even them. They're, they're much the same, but this this really open hand is the best of the lot for wood carving. In fact, with my own designs. You see, this is the axe I always use. Look, I'm going to close down onto it. See, my fingers aren't touching. This is why I've got purchase. Good grip on on the axe. In fact, my I did make an axe, which I've sawn off the head. It wasn't a very good head. It was a second hand. I might make a knife out of this. But I've opened it up even more. I've made the handle even bigger. Because it's just safer. It's just away from me it's just you've just got more hold on the hands and you can feel it when you're doing those when you're bulking out the word when you're really 
pulling on the wood hard, digging in deep, then you need an open hand. A closed hand is just a recipe for cramp and really the, the not good safe purchase on the handle. Anyway, so I mean you can see what the difference is here with the handle shape. Oh, another thing about these handles is if you're using a handle like this, uh, even the serrade, in the winter, especially if it's really cold, ice cold, that lump of steel, your hand is going to freeze. Whereas on a wooden handle, on a wooden carving handle, it will still stay nice and warm. You, your hands won't, um, you won't get frostbite. <laughs> uh, which, trust me, these will feel like you're getting frostbite when you use a big bit of metal. I have used a big bit of metal, not even in Arctic conditions or anything like that. Imagine like living in Scandinavian country, trying to use a knife like this when it's like minus 10 outside. Your flipping hand's going to freeze unless you've got a glove on. Anyway, just a little... Um, video there. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers now.